Okay, time to repair the inside. You need three small spheres. Okay, these here will go into the three corners of your tripod foot. You wanna make it into a longer teardrop shape, which will be more conducive for fitting into the space that you have down there. Mine is still slippy and wet in there um, from creating the other side of the base. If it's not, then you wanna add more. And um, if you have something to lightly score it with, anything you can do to it to get it to stick, do. All right, I'm just gonna score that baby up a little bit too. It's probably a little overkill with the scoring, but now you want to just get it into the corner. You can use your finger or um, a tool to help you get it down there like that. Again, just create that long teardrop shape, put it into your corner, make sure it's really all the way over, and then you can worry about pushing it in after. Again, make your third one and put it in. So these ones I didn't score, it's fine. The clay is plastic enough and like I said, there's a lot of slip down there right now. Okay, so now with your finger, gently put it in. What you wanna try not to do is ruin your tripod shape that you create on the other side. All right, with a modeling tool, something that's rounded on the end, or if you have one of these where it's very rounded, that would be helpful. Otherwise, just you know, some sort of modeling tool that you can get down there, the end of a paintbrush, whatever is clever. And you're just gonna start to blend the clay together. My other hand is supporting the bottom, the outside bottom of my piece. In addition to doing this, I am also going to try to smooth out my seams. I'm going to keep my tool moist, so I just dip it into my bowl of water periodically. And I just want to get that tool into the corner so that it completely seals it. If you don't like, if you have, still have an indentation and you don't like what that looks like, you can always add more clay. Just make sure it's nice and sticky, plastic slippy clay. Again, I'm just supporting the very, very outside bottom as I'm applying pressure on the inside with my tool to ensure that I don't flatten the outside by accident or misshape it. There might be some minor adjustments you have to do after to the outside of your piece. Again, I'm dipping my tool in my water to keep it gliding supporting wherever I'm pressing. Again, remembering I still need to work on the original seams that were there. Again, I'm just compressing and pushing and smoothing. Now with a paintbrush or a sponge or your finger or a sponge on a stick, you wanna get in there and make it look neat and tidy. So I'm just going to work on creating that shape again on the inside where it's slightly raised in the center. You want to imagine on the outside that a little human being, miniature human being, could walk underneath your foot. So you have to create that little cave space under there. All right. Now that I have repaired that on the inside, I will go through and clean it up. I'm going to use a brush with minor water. Remember, if you leave a lot of water on the inside of your piece, your clay will absorb it. It will absorb any amount of water that you give it. And we don't want to re-soften our clay because if we do, more than likely, it could collapse because it would be too soft to hold up its own weight. So I'm just going in and 
trying to make it look aesthetically pleasing in there and smooth it out. I might still go in with my sponge with a little extra pressure, but maybe I'll wait until it's just a little bit stiffer where it can withstand me pressing. If I press too hard, it may collapse now and I don't wanna do that. I wanna let it set. I have mine on particle board, so that will help it set a little bit quicker to leather hard. Just doing it until I'm satisfied for now. And like I said, I'll go back in and do a little bit more later. Okay, so now if you nicked your uh, rim, support it, make sure you don't fall off your banding wheel. Support it with your hand and just work on that edge. You have to remember, you want this edge to be comfortable. You're gonna be drinking out of this mug. So we wanna have a nice smooth lip for our lips to go on to. And once you are satisfied with that, just make sure that you get it back into the shape that you intend it to be. Again, minor water all the time, minor, minor. I'm just gonna look at it and make sure I like it. Okay, next up, handle. I'm gonna put the handle on the side where my seam is. And that will help hide some of the imperfections that happened on the outside. 